loses interest in words. So I have very few words to offer you. But hopefully they'll be helpful. Meditation is simply abiding in the self, as the self, in the core of one's being. And it turns out that that's harder than it seems. Harder than it seems that it should be. But we have to understand why that is. And through all the spiritual traditions, three different levels of consciousness have been maintained as being the, the jurisdiction, the, the three phases, you could say, of consciousness or dimensions of consciousness in which we must go through. There's the level of the absolute, the Atman, the level of the soul, and then that of the ego. And at each level, as we move away from the Atman, from the absolute, we lose a certain amount of coherence. And by the time we get to the ego, we are fragmented. The ego is made up of all of these little semiotic fragments. By that I mean fragments made up of words and images that come, congeal into complexes, narratives, little world views of scenarios that must unfold. But you never know which little fragment, little egon, like a neutron, the equivalent of a subatomic particle, you know they've discovered now, they too are in swarms. You don't know where a neutron is. It could be anywhere within a certain cloud of possibility. And all that it is really is a certain wave of probability. It's a certain percentage of probability it could be here or that it could be here or here at any given moment. We don't know. It's uncertain. And I would say that this principle of uncertainty is the primary principle that is operating in our moment of history. Unlike in the past when people were resonating more at the level of the Atma, there was a very different kind of culture, a di very different kind of field of experience created when we were in Atman consciousness. And then when we were in soul consciousness, it was a different kind of world. And now we are almost entirely, all of us, in ego consciousness because the collective unconscious of the noosphere is in that state and becoming more and more fragmented. And we all witness this. And the result of this fragmentation and uncertainty, which amounts to an uncertainty of knowing who I will be in any given moment. You don't know if in the next interaction with someone you will end up being sweet or being angry. You can't judge it in advance because you yourself don't know which fragment is going to come into play. And so not only are we uncertain about other people, but we're even more uncertain about who we are and what is going to manifest from within us. Will we be taken over by some obsessive drive fear, anxiety, uh, neediness. We don't know because all of those fragments are there and each of them has a potential to emerge at any given time. And we can be taken over by it. Does anyone have that experience?